Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you the Lost Contract gameplay and how to complete it, the easiest way of completing it. Uh, so basically, the first prep, you're just going to want to grab a buzzard or a helicopter with missiles or any kind of weaponized vehicle. It doesn't actually have to be a helicopter, but it will be quickest if you use a helicopter. When she calls you, you just want to hang up and then go to the MC clubhouse that it's telling you to go to, blow up the people in the courtyard area, and then just land your helicopter as close to the front door as you can, because this will make it so that you can escape quick once you've been inside and taken everything that you need to take. Now I'd recommend entering in first person, but I went in a third person, and then just run to your left here. And then once you're in here, you'll be safe in this garage, so you won't get blasted from all angles. Then you just want to gonna want to pick off the people. And I really need to figure out my English because that was not a good sentence. Uh, wow. Uh, so just kill these people in this room here, and you'll be good. Now once you've killed everybody in the first floor, you're gonna want to go through this blue door here. There might be a lady in the corner shooting at you. Uh, just kill her. Uh, and then you're going to want to open the safe here. This is for the documents. And then once you've done the documents, you're going to want to head upstairs and get the equipment. Now, again, I recommend going up here in first person. It just helps with the angle of the third person with the shoulder. You just ignore the shoulder and just kill the people in front of you. It's just so much easier to see people. Again, I went up in third person because I just forgot. Uh, and then you're just going to want to head up and pick up with this bag. It might not spawn here. It might just spawn around this room, though. It should be upstairs, definitely. Uh, and then if not, just check around the clubhouse and it will be in the clubhouse, those two items that you need to find. And once you found them, you can exit the clubhouse. Now that you've exited the clubhouse, just go get in the helicopter that we prepared earlier and then just take off and fly back to your auto shop. And as simple as that, that is the first prep done for this contract. So for the second prep, the transport method, you're going to want to get a helicopter again. I'm going to be using the Sea Sparrow because my buzzard blew up when I parachuted out of it. Uh, and then you're just going to head to the docks. Again, when she calls you, just hang up instantly and it will tell you the location straight away. And you don't have to listen to all the boring dialogue with all the swear words and stuff like that. Because it's just nonsense, really, basically. Just And you should send you, send you a text message anyway and you get to know what's going on with the text anyway. Or you can listen to the phone call if you want to. And just head to this Elysian Island while you're doing that anyway. And then you just want to, as soon as you start locking on to people, just... Stop firing your missiles at them and then you'll notice that there'll be a green camera on the mini map because one of the dock workers would have dropped a clipboard. Make sure to zoom in on the clipboard as well because I took a photo and I wasn't zoomed in enough and it didn't allow me to send it to her. But once you've done that, just head back in the helicopter and it will ask you to steal a tanker or a truck to drive a tanker. So the truck that's there is a good example. But we're not going to be stealing that one because there should be a phantom wedge spawning around the area. So you just need to fly around in the helicopter, look for a phantom wedge. Don't use your missiles because the first time I tried doing this prep, I blew up the phantom wedge. So I just restarted it again to make the video good. Uh, so you're just going to want to get the phantom wedge and just pick off these people with a normal gun, not explosive, just so you don't blow it up. And once you've done that, head into the Phantom Wedge and drive onto the train tracks so that you can lose the cops on the train tracks that's like literally right by us. You don't have to drive too far up the train tracks, just hover over the water. I don't know why I said hover, but just stay on the train tracks just above the water there and then you should lose the cops quite easily. There's no helicopters or anything, so you're just avoiding the police cars. And then you're going to want to drive all the way to Sandy Shores to deliver the truck to this place. And we can use this in the finale, which just makes the last bit of the finale so much easier, even though it's a fairly long finale as it is. So now that we're actually on the finale, I'm just going to be cutting this up quite significantly because again, it's like the Fleeker job one. So it's going to be a lot of driving from place to place to place doing the same thing over and over again. So here's an example of the first one. Just park your car as close as you can to the front door of this drug lab and just enter your way through the compound and just kill everybody as soon as you can and make sure that you're not going to get like flanked if you come out of this lab and there's loads of people left just kill them all before you actually enter again i'll go in first person just so you can see the room uh as easy as you can that lady was just chilling by the car you see her just sat there okay uh and i'm just gonna run up and kill this guy so once i've killed everyone i'm just gonna go first person and enter the lab now there may or may not be a guy in here that's gonna kill you or shoot at you so just be careful uh and then you're just gonna want to run up to the middle thing where the green dot is and plant this blooming mahusive c4 on it uh to blow up the lab and then you're just going to want to repeat this for the other four labs that you have to do it to. I do lose my life in a minute. I can show gameplay of that just so that you know that I uh, died legitly and it was no like stupid. Well, it was, a, it was a completely stupid mistake and it wasn't like part of the gameplay or anything. But once you planted the bomb, you're going to have 20 seconds to leave the area. I don't actually think this detonation will kill you. I just think you have to leave the lab. The explosion happens on the inside. I was kind of hoping the building would just completely explode, but it doesn't. So just drive off and go to the next lab. It will save you a lot of time. Here's the death I had at the second lab. I just sort of ran towards some guy and he completely slapped me up. 
But once you've done all of the labs basically using the same strategy as before, you're just going to want to head to where we delivered the Phantom Wedge and we will be using this to go to Stab City to steal this tanker. Now Stab City does have a lot of enemies but if you take your time and follow me as I do, uh, you'll be alright because I mean they don't have the best weapons and they're not the smartest so you can just pick them off wherever they are. They don't really change cover unless they're hiding behind like a trailer or something. So yeah. Here we are, I'm just finished off the last guy. This is where I drove my Phantom Wedge to. I literally just drove it right up into the middle of the area. Wet ready. Ready. I drove it ready to put it on the I don't know what the hell I'm tatting. Tatting? Oh my god, this is a blooming shambles. Hopefully you're enjoying the commentary. Uh, no, you guys want pure gameplay guide. Okay, so I killed everybody with the Phantom Wedge. No, I didn't. What the hell? So shoot everybody, kill everybody like that, then get back in the Phantom Wedge and then take the truck. And this is so much easier than the rest of the thing. This is actually the most fun because there's not really that much that can go wrong. You don't have to do much, you're just driving along the highway and knock the cars out of the way using the Phantom Wedge and just drive back to your thing. They do say something about not taking people back to the thing and having to lose them first, but I just did it anyway and oh, I was fine. Like There was no like, God damn it, why'd you bring them back to me? We failed the mission now, fool. There was none of that. It was just mission passed. And the guy on his bike just started shooting at me, just driving past. And that is the entire contract. So hopefully you found the commentary uh, bearable. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, links in the description to everything if you want. We've got memberships. We've got merch. We've got Discord server. We've got a GTA crew. We've got all of it. It's down in the description. Check it out if you want to do that. And I'll stop talking now. So I'll see you later.